Here we have the makings of what I hope will be an awesome Velomobile. Check those out. Velomobile. It's basically a bicycle with a body on it. Check out the earlier video for an introduction to this project. Here we have a frame built, step one, 30 inches wide, 8 feet long from the front of the tires to the back of the back tire. Today I'm going to find out how much this thing weighs as it sits. It is solid steel, all but the back mud flap. I have here a bathroom scale and a car jack. Scale is set at zero. We're going to set this on the scale. Here I'll put the frame on this. We are showing straight up five pounds. Now let us weigh it. Let's get a closer look. Okay, let me balance it. Let's test it. Still. We are sitting at 47 pounds. 47 pounds. Minus the weight of the jack, we have 42 pounds. I can't believe that. This thing is 8 feet long, 30 inches wide. All steel. 42 pounds. Can you believe that? Whoa, you're saying 8 feet long, that's huge. That's too big. It's not practical. Really. Well, let's compare it to a full-size adult mountain bike then. Ooh, that's a beautiful bike. I have the front tires lined up fairly straight with each other. It is a full size adult mountain bike, 26 inch tires everywhere. We are a little more than a tire longer in length. Break out a tape measure and see how long that bike is. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 61 to 62 inches, which is a little over five feet. I don't know how we're three feet longer in the other one. Let's check out that suspension and see how that works. 140 pounds. I seriously doubt I'll ever be getting after it that hard, but it's a very easy problem to resolve. 
you adjust this shock by turning this nut right here and that lengthens and shrinks uh, shortens this these springs hold somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 pounds uh, now of course this is adjusted almost completely to the softest setting so I could just screw this up and compress that and of course that would stiffen this back in uh, I had to actually jump up and down on it to compress that suspension on its lowest setting as you could see in that previous demonstration as soon as I stepped on it it tried to roll away with me so it is it rolls very very nice let's look at that front suspension 140 pounds feels good here I took a pair of handlebars off of a bicycle and cut them in half and I have the handlebars mocked up here on the frame just kind of sitting in place um, as where they're going to be start trying to figure out all of the steering how does the steering work on one of these things? That is the most complicated part of this build and the thing you'll spend the most time on is getting that front end right and figuring that thing out to where you have some kind of turning radius. What do we need to do to get turning radius? Here's where the pedals are gonna be. Your tires can't turn any sharper than that to allow clearance for your foot in the pedal. This turning radius will take an entire two-lane road to be able to turn around, so I've got to come up with some kind of way uh, in the design of this front end here to be able to get this thing to turn in some kind of acceptable uh, turning radius. In the next video, we'll figure out how to make this thing turn. Forty two pounds, can you believe it? Forty two pounds. Let's get this steering figured out.